Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Now what you are wondering is where has Julian been? There's been a dearth of content. Well I'm really sorry and I phoned my friend uh, Gretty about a year ago and said do you want to come out for a bike ride and she said no I'm rather busy I've got some life admin to sort and I thought that was a brilliant expression and the fact is guys last couple of weeks I have had some rather stressful, yeah, thanks for your concern, uh, life admin to sort out. And it hasn't got sorted out yet, but uh, we're on the way. And I thought, well, come on, Julian, instead of bemoaning your lot and worrying about your life and complaining about stuff, um, why don't you get on and make some content for your subscribers who have put in a lot of effort to uh, subscribe to your channel. I mean, clicking that subscribe button, I mean, that takes... It takes time, it takes money, we don't take any money actually, and it takes a certain amount of motivation, which is what's been lacking in my life to make a video. So, some of you will know, getting to the point, that I have signed up to do the jog, Land's End to John O'Groats, yes, August 21st, nine days, and it's rolling around fairly quickly, and I said there would be a series of videos uh, about my preparations, and so far there's only been one, which is which bike shall I take to the jog, and that guys may well be due for an update because I could be getting a new bike but that's for another video. So what is this video called? This video is called The Joy of Socks. Yes if anybody remembers back in the 70s the guy and the girl with the beard and they were at it. They were at it in line drawings and so many of us of a certain age, I was in my 30s, uh, learned all about sex from that particular book the joy of sex. But this book, this film is not about sex. Nigel, I'm sorry, you're going to have to look elsewhere on YouTube. This is the joy of socks. And the question is, guys, right? The question is, guys and ladies, because I now have some ladies watching my channel, for which I am exceedingly grateful. Um, these in my hands, yes, not socks, uh, not sorry, not sex, but socks. Which socks should I take to the jog? Now, there will be a poll put down underneath this video and you can vote and you can say right Julian we think you should take these socks so which socks are we talking about well let's start so let's start as we mean to go on I am as many of you will know one of the original Rafa wankers and these are yes feast your eyes actually they're inside out um yeah they're inside out so I'm going to turn, turn them the right way this is a curiously satisfying activity, isn't it? Turning a pair of socks inside out. Right, you can see there, it says, what does it say? It says Rafa. And there it says Wanker, but you can't see that because you have to look fairly quickly. And these are, what are they? Well, they are a pair of uh, socks. And what do they have going for them? They are pink. Yes, I am rocking my inner pinkness. So these, whatever the poll says, have got to be on the list because I can't do the jog in head to toe. Yes, including Rafa underpants and not wear pink Rafa socks. So they will be going on the list. The next pair, and we're not in any particular order here. So you don't know, they're not in alphabetical order. They're not in number order. They're not in color order. No order like that at all. So the next pair, now August 21st, as you know, going through England, it is going to be cold. And by the time we get to Scotland, which is going to be towards the end of August, uh, the temperature is likely to be below freezing because that is fairly normal for Scotland. So these are, yes, these are the woolly bully. Uh, you remember uh, Sam the Sham and the Pharaoh, some of you with a certain age, had a hit with a song called Woolly Bully, which basically meant, oh, woolly bully, woolly bully, woolly bully, and so on and so on for two minutes and 47 seconds, and then it stopped, and it was a fairly minor hit. Well, these socks, the guy who sang that song, uh, when he got too old to, to be a singer and perform for these, uh, uh, for his adoring audience, turned to making socks and so he made the woolly bully socks which is what these are uh, they're made of wool which is from uh, uh, an animal what is it a goat no it's not a goat is it is it a cow a cow doesn't have wool Julian what's the matter with you it's a sheep <laughs> sheep and there are right no sheep were harmed in the making of these woolly bully socks by the way but eight sheep eight sheep yes eight sheep imagine it contributed 
the fruit of their loins, not the fruit of their loins, the fruit of their backs, and gave up their wool more or less voluntarily to manufacture a pair of woolly bully socks. And there aren't that many black sheep around, which is why they have to search high and low to find a black sheep in order, or rather eight black sheep in order to make one pair of bully, woolly bully socks. So because of the temperature that is expected in Scotland, I shall be taking these. Right, what is next? Now, there is one brand, possibly, actually, no, there are two brands that, um, that rival uh, the Rafa Wanker approach. One is uh, Castelli. These are Castelli. Now, you, these are white socks. Now, you might say, well, they don't look white to me, Julian. Well, the thing about white socks, as many of you will know, if you cycle a lot, is once you've ridden for a while in a pair of white socks, they are no longer white. Doesn't matter how many times you wash them. So these are uh, Rosso, Rosso Corso. Can you see that? Rosso Corso. He was a great cyclist of the Pantani era. And there it says Castelli. Um, I don't know. Oh, actually, it says Castelli on the, the back. Can you see that? And there is the famous Castelli centipede symbol. Yes. So when you are crawling up the mountains or the hills as I shall be in Cornwall on the Le Jog you can see the famous Castelli centipede on my socks so they will be going I, I think probably I'm, I'm kind of getting ahead of the pole here but I think that the Castelli whitish greyish socks ought to be in the bag now this is uh, this is a rather interesting pair because this is a rather attractive rather attractive fetching shade of blue and or on a blue with a bit of uh, um, what do you call that uh, you call that pink and yellow and black there and here there's a kind of stripy uh, pinkish color as well and a bit of yellow and so forth so they're very colorful very colorful pastel -y. and these socks are made by a company or not and then I'm not saying um, they're not made by a company or not. I'm saying the name of the company that makes them is or not. So you go into a shop and you say, should I buy a pair of these socks or not? And they say, well, what do you want, sir? And you say, well, I'm thinking I should get a pair of these or not. And they say, well, make up your fucking mind. What's the matter with you? And you say, well, or, uh, or not. And here it says, turn around, turn around or not. And on the other sock, it says, oh, it also says turn around. So if you turn it around, what you get is or not written on the sock. I mean, what is, why write things on a pair of socks? I mean, you don't stop at a cafe stop and uh, your, your mates say to you, what have you got written on your socks, Julian? And you say, well, interesting question. I'm just going to take my shoes off. Hold your noses. And they are. You can read for yourself. And they say, oh, isn't that interesting? It says, or not. And then somebody else takes off their shoes. And you think, oh, what does it say on the bottom of your sock? It says, ha, ha, ha. Nobody cares. Nobody cares socks, incidentally, will shortly be available in my apparel shop. You can find a link to it underneath this video, where you can also, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. These are, uh, this is another pair of all not socks, but in a different, a different color. But this actually says on them, early, uh, you see, early to bed. Can you, can you see that? Early to bed or not. Now I'm quite keen, apart from having a pair of socks that says nobody cares on it. I'm thinking of getting a pair of socks that says don't vote Tory. And how's that? That would be quite good, wouldn't it? You're cycling along. Um, through the uh, through the heartlands of northern England, um, the, the Red Wall, as they call it, the crumbling Red Wall. And as your feet go spinning round, it says, don't vote toy, don't vote toy, don't vote toy, don't vote toy. And then as you increase your cadence even further, as of course you do to try and get through these Red Wall seats, uh, dressed head to toe in, in raffa, because you want to be careful, otherwise they'll, they'll strip you of your kit like piranha. And it says, don't vote toy, don't vote toy. And perhaps on the other sock, it could say, you shouldn't have fucking voted toy, you idiot. No wonder you're in the shit. But that's, that's getting political. And for various reasons, I'm not allowed anymore to be political in my videos. Now, the other company vies with... Actually, no, there are plenty of companies that vie with Rafa and Castelli for the cost of their items. Is, of course, the understated dark blue... 
of the famous ASOS symbol. No, yes, you recognize that ASOS symbol. And this is ASOS as in AS. Os. In other words, there are two S's, not one S. One S as in ASOS or A-S-O-H, which incidentally stands for as seen on the screen. Did you know that? ASOS is a very, very successful uh, clothing company. And I think mainly clothing for the younger person rather than the, uh, the older person such as me. So there is the, the dark blue or navy, rather, rather fetching blue these. I, li I like these, so they probably, yes, push them up the pole, guys. Push them up the pole. So they're probably going in. This one, which is, well, there's quite a lot of pairs of socks here, aren't they? and these aren't all the socks that I own. A la Imelda Marcos. Imelda Marcos had one pair of every pair of shoes manufactured in the world for a period of 18 years and had palaces without number in order to store all these shoes. Well, she also had a separate collection of socks because there's no point having all these shoes unless you have the socks to go with them. This instead is just another Castelli pair, uh, similar to the whitish grayish ones, but of a different color. Now these, these are my favorite. These aren't actually cycling shocks, socks at all. These are socks made and they're inside out. Why are they inside out? Why you, do you find that? You roll up your socks and then you go to put them on and they're always inside out. And so you have to turn them the right way up as I'm doing now. And these are made of bamboo. Yes, now you, you did not know this. If you buy a pair of these socks, right, and you plant them in a, uh, in a pot with, with some compost, uh, in about a week's time, uh, you will have a pair of socks that's about nine feet tall. So they're, and they're very, they're very comfortable. There's something about bamboo. I mean, who'd have thunk it, eh? A plant of all things, which, do you eat bamboo? Bamboo shoots. There, there was that thing, wasn't it? Eat shoots and leaves about a, a pandas. Pandas eat bamboo shoots. That was a, a that was trying to teach, um, uh, people in their twenties about punctuation, but I don't think it really worked, did it? So the bamboo socks, uh, they're very nice. These aren't cycling socks, but I may take these for the, the evening soiree when I'm having uh, dinner with my friends after 100 miles in the legs. This pair, now, it, it, when the bamboo people made their, their bamboo socks, other companies came along and said, well, why can't we, uh, why can't we make uh, uh, socks out of, out of plants and trees and bushes? And they tried various things. There was a, there was a company that tried oak, uh, that didn't really work. Uh, somebody else tried a birch tree. Uh, somebody else tried a beech tree. They, they didn't really work either. They, there was just something about uh, the wood that didn't translate into socks in the way that the bamboo did. But then, then, somebody in California tried sequoia. And yet, you know the, the, you know the enormous sequoia trees that you see in, in, in National Geographic uh, pictures? I saw one. Right, which was in Northern California. And this tree was so big, it contained a small town. Yes, there were 140 people living in that tree. Can you, ima can you imagine? And they weren't, in, you know, they, they weren't in high rise blocks or anything. The tree was big enough uh, to encompass a uh, studio, two, three, four, five, and the occasional six and even seven bedroom houses. And I believe Boris and his new 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 wife or latest wife perhaps should be uh, the correct phraseology uh, have bought one of the seven bedroom houses so that they have uh, um, the six bedrooms for themselves and then one for all the for all the children when they come to see so these socks right in this rather interesting yellow and black spotted uh, kind of leopardy leopardy look uh, 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 is a leopard black with yellow spots or yellow with black spots? I'm going to quite work out. These socks, anyway, are made of sequoia. So they they weren't allowed to chop down the sequoia for obvious reasons. There were 140 people living there. But what they were allowed to do was just saw off a couple of little branches. And the thing about a sequoia, right, is your little bit of sequoia goes a long way. Yes, I bet you didn't know that. And therefore... You can make a hundred thousand pairs of sequoia socks out of a single branch of a sequoia tree, right? Yeah, there's a few people lost their houses, but you know these are these are difficult times, and they, they should have paid their rent and, and so on and so forth. So there is all oh, this one final pair 
And can I really, I, I quite like these actually. These are, I'm sorry to say, the, um, the old Rafa, the old Rafa stuff is coming out. And the thing they've done with these, right, is the correct way around for these socks is like this. And you will notice that the Rafa logo is on the inside of the sock. Can you see that? So you're riding along and all the people who see you will not know that you're wearing a pair of Rafa socks. So the smugness quotient can be through the roof. And on the bottom, incidentally, uh, it says large. So um, I'm not quite sure why it says large. It might say on the other side or not. It might on the other side say a wanker or it might even say, let me just read what it says. Just turning this the right way up. It says, you guessed it, nobody cares. So those are the socks. Uh, those are the socks that are in the frame for Le Jog. And um, uh, um, enter, enter the poll. There, there are prizes, except we're void by, uh, uh, by applicable laws. And um, make sure you enter the poll and say which socks Julian should take for Le Jog. And wait with bated breath for the video about which bike to take for the jog. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it was worth the wait. I have to get back to the life I've been now, so thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Please remember that my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. And take care, sunshine is here. Get out on your bike. See you next time.